So quietness of my heart, I said, Lord, if they grow up loving you and nothing else, you know, alpha, the alphabet and maths, it's all really important, but it's not as important as growing up and having Jesus um, as, as your Lord and Saviour. So that was my foundational desire for my own children and therefore any subsequent children is that they would find faith in Jesus. Hi, my name is Amanda Franklin. I'm the head teacher here at Loxley Christian School. We established Loxley Christian School in 1992. Our day begins with assembly, prayer and praise. Each student then settles into his or her own office and focuses on the day's academic goals in the Learning Centre. While the mind is still fresh and in a quiet, peaceful and loving environment, the students concentrate on the core skills of reading, writing and mathematics as well as literature science and the social sciences. Each student works at the level appropriate for them individually in each subject, so this time involves one-to-one -one tutoring. In the Senior Learning Centre, this involves PACE tests for accreditation for the International Certificate of Christian Education, with additional options for electives in other subjects such as languages, health, nutrition, to name but a few. Each student works at their own pace and the staff are released by this method to devote more time to each child. If a child is unable to solve a problem, he or she can call on the supervisor for help. The supervisor then works carefully with the child to ensure that any difficulties are overcome. Since the instruction is private, the student is encouraged to ask questions, which might be embarrassing if it was for a whole class situation. And there is therefore a free exchange between the teacher and the pupil and consequently the pupil really does learn. During the course of the morning, the students also develop their reading, comprehension and keyboard skills on the computer. At differing points in the day, students leave our learning centres for practical science, citizenship, PSHE, art, music, drama, PE devotions and ICT. Children aged 12 and above, we encourage to attend the European Student Convention, which takes place on a lovely campus somewhere in the UK and the students compete against students from other schools and home schools in drama, sport, music, art and academics. One of our students has gone on to study at the Royal Academy of Music, others have gone on to university to read education, international development, journalism and forensic science, to name a few. We firmly believe that God will enable them to fulfil the call he has placed on their lives. Striving for the best all the time, you don't see that in the secular system they settle for average and we just strive for the best and strive for God and all things are possible. Christian education give, gives an amazing education, like it's really solid, but the most important thing is for my guys, my students just to head out and just have that relationship with Jesus. And we teach them here how to develop their relationship with God. We have prayer meetings and things, and we teach them really practical things of how to maintain that relationship with God when they're out of the school, um, so they can be the same as they've been in here outside as well and be that salt and the light. So more than anything, more than an education or more than a good CV, it's all about that relationship with God and going on for eternity with Him. If a child is gifted and talented, they can go as fast as they like and um, learn as much as they like, but turn at you know, the other end of the spectrum, the children who struggle, they can take as long as they like and get to the same destination. Yeah, so I've been here for nine years and uh, you know, coming to the school, the people here are great. I've really got to know the teachers and they really, they really take the time to get to know each student. Everybody knows each other and everyone gets along, so there's not really any um, social groups so there's not people are being left out and it's also great that they really help you to get with your interests and what you want to do. You have yeah you know you're really friends with all the students and from the youngest to the oldest you know I'm, I'm one of the oldest stu students in the school and you know I can name you every student just because we, we kind of have that sort of relationship with everyone. The, the foundation, the biblical foundation, the foundation of character foremost in their lives, following, imitating Christ, is just, there is nothing else that can compare to it in my eyes. Um, it, it sets the child up to succeed in the best possible way. 
a Christian education, it really encourages you to, um, it, it makes you feel more safe and you're nurtured more and um, growing, um, going to a Christian school um, helps you also learn more about God, which is really important for children, I think. You don't put your seedling out into the main garden to weather all the storms. You keep that seedling in a greenhouse where it's safe and secure and nurtured until it's strong. And then when it's strong, it can go out and weather the storms of life, knowing um, secure and strong um, in and of themselves. I think that's been the biggest testimony of the young people that have left, that have come back to us. Um, they've just got a really strong sense of who they are, where they're going, and why they're doing what they're doing, which I think as many teen whether teenagers or early 20s, we reach a point in our lives where those big questions need to be answered. And I believe that with a Christian education from the age of three up, the students start having answers to those questions.